Hi, I'm Tommy Lamont, and I'm joined by my colleague, Dave O'Brien. We're on the Security and Risks team at Thirdera. This video is part of our series reviewing the release notes from the new versions of the security operations applications on the ServiceNow store. Specifically today, we're going to take a look at the ability to select a date field from which remediation targets are calculated, which gives us a lot more flexibility around the uses of remediation targets. Dave's going to take us through a brief demo. Thanks, Tommy. So I'm here on my IT remediation workspace, and I'm just going to go into my uh, list of records and look at this vulnerable item that I have assigned to me. And a couple things to call out here is that this was created. So this is the date that it, this vulnerable item was ingested from ServiceNow or from the scanner into ServiceNow. And I can see that that was set for August 20th. And I also have a first found date that was set to August 1st, which is when the scanner actually detected this vulnerability on this particular device. So the way that this has historically worked is the remediation target is set um, with the whatever, however many days we have set in the remediation target rule and set that many days out from that created date. So in this case, I can see my remediation target was set to September 19th by this medium high risk rating rule. So I'm going to jump over and look at my remediation target rules. And if I look at this particular rule, I can see that I now have a field which is this target from date. And so this lets me choose what date field I want to use to start my 30 day counter from. So as we can see, it's set to create it as a default, which is the date that it's the vulnerable item is created in ServiceNow. We also have a last open date, which is going to be the date that ServiceNow calculates if a vulnerable item is closed and then reopened. And then we have the first found date and the last found dates, which are both ingested from your vulnerability scanner. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this to the first found date and save my remediation target rule. Uh, I'm gonna run a quick background script just to correct the, rerun the calculations for the remediation targets. And if I go back over to my record here and refresh this list, I can see that my remediation target is now updated to August 31st, so it's, 30 days out from that first found date instead of the created date. So this opens up some interesting possibilities. Tommy, do you have any thoughts on some use cases for this? First thing that comes to mind is that the initial go live of the vulnerability application. Previously, customers were really stuck with calculating all their remediation targets from the first time they ran that integration job at the go live of the application. So you had a bunch of vulnerable items and remediation tasks all calculating based off that same uh, initial go live date. Uh, now we can use data from the scanner like your first found example here, and we're gonna get more accurate information around our remediation targets from how long has this actually been in our environment. That can be especially important for regulated companies, for examples, that may have strict regulations and be penalized if they're not resolving vulnerabilities based off of information like the first time the scanner first found it, the time they last found it, which is another option here. Uh, now with this new feature, it's much more flexible and we can more accurately reflect those remediation targets. Have you seen similar use cases, Dave, or any other use cases you might think of like for that last found option? Absolutely, I've definitely seen kind of both of those use cases as well as potentially for the, the last opened date. I think we could run into that scenario if we have uh, vulnerable items on devices that maybe have been shut off for a period of time. Maybe somebody goes out on leave for you know an extended period of time and the vulnerable item gets automatically closed by a stale detection rule or something like that. Then maybe they come back from leave and that device gets turned back on. Uh, if we're still using the first found date for that, then that vulnerable item is going to have a remediation target date that is already passed by the time that it comes back to the remediation team. So using something like that last open date makes it so that you're not penalizing your remediation teams for something that they were just made aware of. That's a great point about the last open date, and it really makes sure we're uh, assigning dates that are realistic for those remediation teams. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Be sure to watch out for other videos in our series and check out thirdera.com for any more information on security operations or the entire ServiceNow platform. If you have any questions about Thirdera or the security operations suite, please reach out to us using the information below.